the first minute and 20 seconds of this video is just me saying hello, talking and warning that this ain't about cars. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. I got all kinds of cars around here. There's all kinds of them on my website. I'm not caught up enough with getting them all on my website, but stuff for sale. Oneownercarguy.com. Um, to all my regular subscribers for the car stuff and the work blogs and everything, um, I'm not doing any right now. It's snowing. But I haven't been doing as many videos. This video is not about cars. It's just an, uh, taking apart a gold shell KD5. And these machines are, depends on what day you look them up or what month, between 40 grand to, they were up to 100 grand, I think, almost. But whatever the case may be, I wasn't looking forward to taking it apart. I'd taken apart plenty of L3s, S9s, and all that kind of crap. But these are double stack and everything. I'd never done it. So whatever. It's cool. Couldn't find a video to say anything about it either. If you're going to take your uh, miner apart, though, definitely get permission from Gold Shell. So whatever. It's just a quick video of taking apart the Gold Shell, putting it back together. It's not a step-by-step -step instructional, but I do tell you how to do it. So quick video. Have fun. Enjoy. If this ain't the kind of video for you, just don't watch. And that's that. So here we go. Enjoy. All right. So here is a screenshot of my hash boards before I took it apart. Running at 75, 76, 78. 189 over here on the double so very very high up it's working right it's just hot it's hot man so here it is after but we're running only 78 over here 80 79 75 okay i got permission to open this up and as you can see here all my tags are still on it it's never been opened it's only five months old i think but four months but that's what I'm going to do here is open this up. And to tell you the truth, I'm not really looking forward to it. But it has to be done. So I'm going to get a... box here for the screws. And just start taking off fans. I'm thinking it just needs a deep cleaning, but we shall see. After you get the fans off, there's four little bolts and screws right there to hold that in. After you pull the ends off, that'll pull the top off as well. You can loosen your fan wires, but then you gotta loosen these little bolts, screws here, and take off this one, this little ribbon wire or whatever, and then they'll slide right out this end. So I got three of the boards out, there's one more left in here, and basically my problem was this. I left for two and a half months, and I got dust in there with the window open. So it was a little bit dusty, and I was making it heat up. And like I say, once you get these screws undone, and your ribbon wires, they just slide right out like this. And as you can see, the intake on mine, I already peeled some off, but I've got a big time dust issue from having that window open and not getting properly blown out. Look at that. It's awful. Awful. It's just not good for them. So, now I have a complete bare machine. You can see there's extra dust in there. I'm going to blow these out. And get it done. Okay, I'm going to record putting back in the third board. There's two slots. I've been putting them... I started on the bottom slot. So we shall see. You want to line them up. And it's pretty simple. Just put your screws in there. And I wouldn't do them overly tight. They were just barely tight when I took them off. 
But that's it, the board's installed. One more to go. Might as well just keep this running. Got a hook in the top. I had to cut a zip tie up top to get the fans to move around a bit. But this last one had this piece of paper in there. So I'm gonna do that too. Just like they had it. Um, this one is giving me a little bit of trouble. I'm going to loosen these up. There we go. I will say they're put together well. I like it. I've taken amp miners apart and all that. These large frame gold shells. Quite a product, man. Quite a product. So there we are. All four boards are in. And I think I am going to get this thing put back together. Keep on moving. I'm just going to show it all before I box it back up. We got all four boards back in. Don't forget the piece of paper. And these are the screws. I gotta retighten these. But you can take your fans off here. And I cut the zip tie and I might just put them in like that. But I'm gonna clean the fan blades a little more and then get this thing back together. This just slides over everything here. What's funny is I never even had to take that apart. The label. These wires have little clips that you have to press, and it's underneath on this. And there's your control board if you're needing to access that. So it should look like this. I never even had to take these off. So they don't even know that it's been, I don't know how they know it's been open. But now, you put your, these are the four screws right here. Two, three, and four, and hold that tray on. So when you put this piece in, you just hang it in there, I gotta hang it by one screw. It's got little slots, so you can only put it in. It actually wouldn't hit the board the other way. So that's where it goes, and I think I got it all back together right. There's just four screws on it. Now, now that it's pretty much back together, I like to loosely put all these on. And you'll learn when you do these double ones, they don't care which way they put the fans on. That's from the factory. I got a little bit more wire left over than I wanted. I would have strung it up different, but whatever, we're putting them back together. Now I just messed up. Always remember that one end goes like this, with an open and the grill over. Just like an L3 or anything else. Ooh buddy, I gotta get that library back together too. But that's that man, I'm gonna put my grills on, and I am pretty much done here. I don't think there's a right way or a wrong way, but have a box or a bag and keep your stuff handy. We you don't lose it. But I like to kind of set my fan bolts, screws, or whatever you want to call them, and then screw them all down together. All right, so here is a screenshot of my hash boards before I took it apart. Running at 75, 76, 78, 189 over here on the double. So very, very high up. Um, I don't know. They all seem to be. This seems to have less hardware errors here than this one that's working right. This one and this, these all three have more hardware errors than that one. And about the same reject rate, although this is the highest. Accepted. It's working right. It's just hot. It's hot, man. So here it is after. Almost about the same. But we're running only 78 over here. 
eighty seventy nine seventy five. What was this? Let's go back. Seventy five seventy six. So one of them's running a little warmer even. These two are running warmer, but this is running so much cooler. And yeah, I like it. It's done. It's doing it, and that fixed it. That's all there is to say about it.